Hey guys, Saban here with another After Effects tutorial and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to do this kind of glitch effect that kind of looked like a screen crack and yeah you've probably seen it a lot in over edits these days like especially with dubstep and stuff and I'm just going to be showing you how to do that effect. I was meant to make this tutorial about six months ago but I never got around to it so sorry for the dude who I was meant to make this for but I'm making it now and basically what this effect is is this kind of well it doesn't have to be triangles but if you look you can see the kind of like cracks here and it's kind of like scaled out and you've probably seen a lot of people use this effect and as you can see around six months ago this dude asked for a tutorial on this effect and you've also probably seen people like kind of cut out the kill feed here and kind of scale up the kill feed to like show it off and I'm just going to be showing how to do this effect so let's quickly see this effect in action so you can see how I um, kind of like synced it to the music like adding that kind of pump effect to the dubstep and it came out quite nice so that's just one way of using that kind of screen crack effect but I'm just going to be showing you how to do the effect so you can just uh, do it with your own like flair and make it original so um, gonna quickly make a new composition and that will be okay and if I just insert this cinematic it's quite short because it's under a second so I'm just going to quickly add some time remapping and extend it oh, extend it out just to lengthen it up by slowing it down so um, that's just something random and basically first of all you want to make an adjustment layer so that's command alt y or control alt y uh, if you're on windows and just hit enter and rename it to crack or whatever you want to call it like cut crack something like that um oh that rhymed that was slick um and basically in the effects and presets you want to go ahead and type in transform i can't type today and you just want to drag it onto the adjustment layer um i have seen in one or two tutorials um like people use magnify and it does the same thing if you're going just for the pump but you're kind of limited as it only zooms in so it only like affects the scale parameter um whereas transform you got one or two other things like rotation going across here and you also got like some skew so you got some like crazy stuff going everywhere so that's why i prefer to use transform and what I'm going to be focusing on is the scale. You can basically just apply what I do with the scale on the skew and rotation. But right now you can see that when I use a scale, it scales around the center. That's where the anchor point is located over here. And you can see that it scales along the center and basically Um, basically when you see people do ex like scaling up the kill feed you want it to you want the center of scale or the anchor point to be on the kill feed and to do that you would like normally think you just change the anchor point to there but now the whole thing kind of shifts position but now if you do scale it up you can see it does scale up along the point because now the center is in the corner but you've got all of this going round weird so basically to what you can do is either change the anchor point to where you want it and then the position to where you want it as well like so and it will sort itself out but if you're doing it quite a few times it can become quite annoying and when there's a simpler way well maybe not so simple but when there's a better way just to keep it all in form just once and then it will just stay like that and basically the way you do that is by parenting the well connecting the anchor point and position together and to do that if you hold down alt and click on the stopwatch next to position grab this little pick tool and drag it to the anchor point and now if we grab the anchor point and we just change it there 
you'll see that the position also changes since whatever the anchor point does the position does as well so now that they are parented together um, we can adjust the anchor point without having everything shifting to weird places and now as you can see the center of scale is now where you want it if you are doing the kill feed or you want a crack in that kind of area so now that we've got that sorted I'm just gonna change this back to the center which is 640 and by 360 which is exactly the center um, and basically what you do is grab the pen tool make sure you're on the adjustment layer and you just make some cool ass cuts like that and you'll see nothing happens but if we actually click on it and just change the scale you can see because we made a mask we affect only that area and say if you wanted the anchor point to be down there it will now scale around that point but I'm just going to change it back to 640 and 360 and to be honest that is pretty much it um, what you also can do is like muck around with the mask properties like if you double hit M and it will come with the mask properties and you can invert it so that it affects everything outside of the mask or you can just go like hit subtract and that will do the same thing you can also add some like movement on the mask path so what you can do is say over here at 45 frames I want the mask to be there in that position and about 10 frames later I want the mask to be like this and that just changes it up and now you can see that we made some keyframes with the scale going across so if I click out you can see it kind of goes like that and as you can see the edges are kind of harsh and if you want to smooth it out you can add some feathering maybe like 10 pixels but that's only if you want it it depends how you want it um, I'm just gonna keep that to zero and yeah that's pretty much it for the mask properties and this is how I usually do the effect and where I had loads going off like with the music um, if you just chop down the little adjustment layer to where the keyframes are and maybe you make this about about five frames like so what you can do is keyframe the scale of this so maybe if we want the scale about that much we can keyframe it at the beginning and go to the end and set it to about 110 so now what happens it kind of comes in big and kind of goes down and basically what I did is I keyframed the scale and the position slightly on this little effect and I then just used command D and I just duplicated it and I just kind of went forward about three or four frames and just align it so at one point you have like two cracks going off just slightly so if you look here you can see that there are two cracks one there one there and that just makes it look a bit smoother instead of just one crack and then another crack so that's how I did that and maybe you, you don't have to keyframe the scale I probably wouldn't keyframe the scale I can't really remember how I did that did that ages ago so um, I think I might keyframe this scale just slightly maybe not as dramatically but this is just a tutorial so it doesn't really matter and as you can see you've got the effects but as you can see it's kind of similar so what you can do is in the duplicated one if you hit U and then on the mask path you can just adjust the point so maybe this one going across starting off like this and then at the end of it uh, going round like so and I'm using triangles here you don't have to use triangles you can use squares 
circles, anything really. You can use any of these, just like create a star and do it. So if we do delete this mask, we can just add a star in it, like so. And yeah, just muck around with this and stuff. So if we go like this, you can see it kind of comes in a star shape. And you can just mug around with this, and if I just like make a round preview of that, you, you can see you kind of have that thing going on where it kind of pumps out like that and slowly fades out. And what I did, I just synced it up to the music slightly, and it came with a pretty nice looking effect. And that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and all that. So, um, yeah, I have a few more tutorials coming up. I have this massive list list of tutorials, and I can get rid of the screen crack tutorial because I just made it. And yeah, so put your tutorial requests in the description if you have any, or say which one you want most out of these, and I'll try get round to doing that one. And yeah so that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe uh maybe a favorite if this helped you out a lot so yeah thanks for watching guys this has been saban and i'll see you in the next video